good morning children this is the second part of your lesson a gift of chapels it's an explanation part you read the textbook and watch this video and make notes of difficult words and usages that will help you to develop your english if you did not watch the first part subscribe the channel go watch and then come back to watch this second part okay welcome to the second part of your story a gift of chapels mrudu crept up to the window crept up means went unnoticed to the window lelly was sitting a little distance away awkwardly holding her violin and bowstring she was holding the violin and its bowstring a little bit awkwardly awkwardly means uncomfortably she was holding the bow and violin a little bit uncomfortably and her elbows jetting out and her eyes glazed with concentration you can also notice her elbow that was jetting out and glazed with glazed with concentration glazed with means uninterested she was uninterested in concentration which means she had only a little concentration in it in front of her with most of his back to the window was the bony figure of the music master just in front of this lally sitting the music master he was a bony figure a very thin human he had a mostly bald head with a fringe of oiled black hair falling around his ears and an old fashioned tuft when you notice the character sketch of this music master it is very important he had an old fashioned tuft tuft means a bunch of hair tied together that is a tuft a gold chain gleamed around his leathery neck you can also notice a gold chain around his neck around his leathery neck leathery means rough that is gleaming that is shining and a diamond ring glittered on his hand as it glided up and down the stem of the violin this music master he was wearing a gold a diamond ring when he glides his stem across the violin the ring was glittering a large foot stuck out from beneath his gold bordered waist edge waist here means the dhoti a golden bordered waist and he was beating time on the floor with a scrawny big toe and he was beating time he was beating time here means he was beating the big toe as according to the rhythm of the music on the floor that we can see there he played a few notes lally stumbled behind him on her violin he played it beautifully but when lally started doing the same she stumbled behind him stumbled behind means followed halting halting means stop and go stop and go sometimes she stopped then she began again that is how she was learning this lessons go to the next page and unhappy in her hands actually this instrument was very unhappy looking awkward in her hand what a difference 
the music master's notes seemed to float up and settle perfectly into the invisible track of the melody the music master's notes seemed so perfect they uh, they were moving along the track the invisible track of music it was like the wheels of a train fitting smoothly into the rails and whizzing along as revi said as revi had told us earlier his music was perfectly on the track whizzing on and on mrdu stared at that huge bearinged hand moving effortlessly up the violin stem and this mrdu the girl who visited there she looked at stared at the huge and bearinged hand bearinged here means with a ring in his finger that was moving effortlessly easily that was moving effortlessly effortlessly means with ease up the violin stem making lovely music the music master was playing his violin smoothly look at the next paragraph squawk there was lally derailing again but lally couldn't follow his lessons look at the picture of this music master this is the tuft we had talked a little earlier amma came a wail from the gate amma oh look at this wail means a cry of lament they heard ravi sent that becker away cried his mother from the back veranda where she was chatting with tapi immediately ravi's mother replied the call and asked ravi to send that becker away look at the next page he has been coming here every day for the past week and it is time he found another house to beg from party explained to tapi so this man had been coming this man had been coming to their house for the last one week and they were fed up with it this was said by party explained to tapi mrdu and meena followed ravi out they went to see the they went to see they they went to send off that man there the beggar was already in the garden making himself quite at home he considered the house as his own home he sat down somewhere there he had spread his upper cloth under the neem tree and was leaning against it against its trunk immediately the beggar spread the cloth that he kept over his shoulder under the tree and sat down there leaning the trunk of the neem tree apparently prepared to take a little snooze little snooze here means a short sleep why he waited for the ams to appear ams means something money or food that is given as a charity he decided to sit there and take a little bit of easiness go away said ravi sternly still even family ravi went there and said this my party says it is time you found another house to beg from he conveyed the message to the beggar he was not allowed to come to the house he could find another house for begging that was the message ravi conveyed to the beggar look at the next paragraph the beggar opened his eyes very wide and gazed at each of the children one by one gazed means looked he looked at the children there one by one 
the ladies of this house he said at last in a voice choked with feeling he wanted to ask these children the ladies of this house and when he started speaking his voice was choked with emotions choked means blocked if something is blocked with emotion we call it choking our very kind souls souls means people very kind people i have kept my body and soul together on their generosity for a whole week for the last one week he said he kept his body and soul together because of the charity generosity because of the food that he had taken from this house he reminded the children keep body and soul together means to live a life you can get the meaning from here i cannot believe that they would turn me away turn me away means to chase him away he said he couldn't believe his senses that the kind hearted ladies of this house was going to send him away he raised his voice amma amma o sad his wail might be wail means his lament the cry it was filled with a sad sadness but it certainly was not feeble even though his wailing was very sad it was not feeble feeble means it was not very weak he cried aloud it began in a deep strong rumble somewhere in his withered belly withered belly means shrunken shrunken stomach and the rumbling the sound of the hungry stomach that came out loudly and came booming out of his mouth booming out means very strongly very strongly the voice came out with its few remaining teeth stained brown with betel juice he had only a few teeth remaining and those teeth were stained with betel chewing ravi tell him there is nothing left in the kitchen called rukmani and he is not to come again tell him that she sounded fed up fed up means she was already tired tired of feeding this beggar so she gave her ultimatum no more food no more coming to the house ravi did not have to repeat it all to the beggar what his mother said had been easy for them all to hear ravi could not need to repeat the same words because everyone could be heard her words there under the neem tree it was loudly very loudly she announced the beggar sat up and sighed immediately the beggar who was leaning against the trunk he sat straight and began to sigh because his last hope that was dried out 
he expected something from this generous house but no favorable answer came from the ladies at this time so he sighed i will go i will go he said wearily wearily means very weakly the man was so weak and tired only let me have a rest here under this tree he just wanted he just begged the children to let him sit there for a few minutes and he continued the sun is so hot the tar has melted on the road my feet are already blistered he said it was a scorching sun just outside the gate of this house and the tar on the roads were melting he had already developed certain blisters on his feet let us go to the next page he stretched out his feet to show large pink peeling blisters on the soles of his bare feet bare feet means naked he showed the children the feet with blisters in them go and take a look at that blisters look at the blisters in the feet of the beggar that's why he wanted to take a little bit to rest there i suppose he doesn't have the money to buy chapels mrudu whispered to meena and rivi have you got an old pair in the house somewhere mrudu became so sympathetic she adjudged the situation as this poor man had no money to buy any chapels so she wanted to give him any old chapel in the house i don't know said rivi mine are too small to fit his feet or i would have given them to him and his feet were larger than mrudu's and meena's so all these children were so sympathetic towards this beggar rivi wanted to give his own chapels to the beggar but they were not suitable for the feet of the beggar and next paragraph the beggar was shaking out his upper cloth and tightening his dhoti he was readying himself to move away from there he raised his eyes and looked fearfully at the road gleaming in the afternoon heat so he raised his eyes and looked very sadly at the scorching sun just outside the gate of the house look at the next part he needs something on his feet mina said her big eyes filling it's not fair now i am going to show you one documentary film on a beggar watch it and later we can continue the story now we watch this documentary when i was a child we ate lived peacefully i was with my parents after that time i am an orphan now now i am a vagrant when i was with my parents i went to school and was good unlike now i have studied till fourth standard after their death this is my life now every day he wakes every day he begs but today he speaks i am an orphan i have no one even if i had someone no one would care being a vagrant i feel fine living the life 
in the name of go people for offer food and money this vaga bond is same like the one we come across in the story a gift of chapels no wonder the children in the story showed some sympathy towards him and he himself said he keeps his body and soul together because of the generosity of the people around him how we watched the documentary the baker in the story says he heard also parents and education but during the journey of life he had lost everything now he was a vagrant a vagabond roaming around the city and living on the alms he receives so the children in this story they have fellow feeling humanity and the kindness that's why they wanted to help this vaga bond let us now move on to the story come back to textbook he needs something on his feet mina said her big eyes filling it's not fair yes mina says that it was not fair that leaving the beggar without giving him something shh said ravi i am thinking about it blabbering it is not fair it is not fair it is not going to help ravi also supported mina it is not at all a fair business with the beggar send him away without giving him something in 2 minutes he will be frying his feet on that road they realized the situation within 2 minutes he would reach there and he was going to fry his feet in the tar what he needs is pair of chapels they desired it what he needs is a pair of chapels so where do we get them come let's search the house he pushed the mrudu and mina into the house so they went inside the house they went towards the house in search of a pair of old chapels just as she stepped into the veranda mrudu's eyes fell on the old looking chapels she had noticed when she arrived so when mrudu arrived there she had kept her chapels near a pair of old dirty looking chapels she pointed that to ravi ravi she whispered to him who are these she wanted to know ravi turned and glanced at the shabby looking but sturdy old chapels slippers sturdy here means a little bit strong even though the slippers looking shabby it was sturdy sturdy means strong strong slippers he beamed and nodded his eyes become shiny and he nodded said s yes. these are just the right size he said picking them up picking them up he commanded it is the right choice mrudu and meena followed him nervously back into the garden so the three children came back to the garden to give this chapels to the beggar 
now let us move on to the next page here said drive to the beggar dropping the slippers in front of the old man wear this and don't come back so he gave that chappal and reminded him the warning his mother had given him don't come back the beggar stared at the slippers hurriedly flung his towel over his shoulder flung means throw throw his towel over his shoulder pushed his feet into them and left immediately he wore the chappals and left the scene muttering a blessing to the children before he went away he really blessed the children in a minute he had vanished around the corner of the street within a minute he vanished around the street and left now i am going to wrap up the second part of explanation of a gift of chapels wait for the third part